Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. It is currently 6.09 a.m. there in Hawaii, 11.09 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Here's some images of the current activity. The first two monitors are at Kilauea and Halimama Crater. These other two are for uh, Mauna Loa. And this is the spectrogram of the most recent earthquake that I downloaded just recently, which according to HVO would be a magnitude 2.2 earthquake. 41 earthquakes within the last 24 hours. Um, this earthquake would be down by Pahala. There was also a magnitude 2.8 um, up there by Kilauea, that location there, the volcano there and Halimama, the crater. Here's the most recent thermal image of the crater at Halimama, and this is really behind. Um, it was taken as of 5.48 a.m. Hawaii time. Another image, now this one says 610, so this has been updated, of Kilauea Volcano Summit, looking down into the crater, and with the VOG, you can still see the heat coming up around the edges. And then this location here that I was talking about on the bottom edge um, in my last report. Using Google Earth, here's the location of that most recent earthquake. Here's an image of the crater. Not far from here um, is an area of fossilized footprints from a hydrothermal eruption that occurred in 1790. Evidently in 1790, a party of warriors was passing by Kilauea Volcano on their way to a battle. They were fighting over who was going to be the ruler of the islands from what I gather. 400 men, women, and children were caught in a giant uh, pyroclastic eruption flow and suffocated where they stood. Another group of warriors coming upon their companions' bodies momentarily thought they were sleeping until they realized that they were all dead. Molds of footprints left by this second set of warriors are preserved in the ash along what's called the Warrior Footprint Trail. So I zoomed in a little bit closer. Here is Halimamu Crater. This is the area of the footprints. Um, I don't know if it was all warriors. Um, there is footprints. What they say is women and children. You can see they're closer together of the children. I'll make that bigger. So there's one image and another. Some look like they were wearing some type of footwear. And some look like they were barefooted. And another. There's been at least three pyroclastic flows from Halimama. Kilauea Volcano. The most recent was in 1924, I believe. The most devastating was the eruption in 1790. USGS has an image. It's the uh, lighter of the brown of the ash cloud from that eruption. I believe that eruption lasted about 60 years. Yeah, lava flowed for about 60 years. And then they got the um, ash flow from another eruption. Now the 1790 eruption happened in two phases. The first one was when the lava came in contact with the water and flashed into steam and hot gases. And they believe that also happened in 1924. The water table there at Kilauea is about 1,700 feet below the rim of the crater. Uh, Kilauea volcano, they claim, is at yellow. They haven't updated it um, in quite a while, any information. Mauna Loa usually erupts once every seven years or so. But it's been, what, 34, 35 years since its last eruption. Here we have a map of the different eruptions that occurred there at Halimamu and Kilauea. 
we got this one small area in 1894, 1919, 1982, uh, 1974, this large area in uh, kind of a purple, 1919. 1832. I'm trying to find the one for 1790. Do you guys see it? 1921 here and off over there to the top a little bit. The lighter purple. From Paradise Helicopters, we have an image of the Vog coming out of Kilauea. There's also an image of one of the lava bombs that penetrated the roof of one of the tour boats from that 2018 eruption. They only recently um, had a settlement with the people that were injured. Evidently, uh, the transcript, the audio recording, has been sealed by the judge. But the lawsuit accused Lava Ocean Tours and Shane Turpine, the captain of Hotspot, of negligence for piloting the sightseeing boat too close to the lava ocean entry and not adequately warning passengers of the tourist potential hazard. Jessica Tilton, then 20 of Washington, was the most seriously injured passenger. Tilton had bent over to shield her then 15 year old si sister when she was hit by a volcanic projectile about two feet in diameter. Authorities said 23 passengers suffered injuries, but only the Tiltons required hospitalization beyond treatment at Hilo Medical Center's emergency room. According to the lawsuit, uh, Turpin applied for and was granted permission to navigate his vessel inside the 300 meter safety zone from lava ocean entry points that the Coast Guard had established. The Coast Guard had warned Turpin, however, that entering the safety zone, he and Lava Ocean Tours had to assume any and all risks and liability associated going within that area, uh, death, injuries, or damage to property. And again, there's an image of that two-foot lava bomb that came through the roof of the boat. Terrible. But as you can see at Mauna Loa, there is a lot of earthquakes that are not being reported. This is, in fact, a magnitude uh, 2.2, so they didn't fudge about the magnitude of that earthquake. The next earthquake, which they said was also a 2.2 uh, .2 at 1459 down by Palahala, was actually a 2.3. There's a spectrogram as it came in at Kilauea. And this is the signature as it came in at um, Halimamu and Mauna Loa and the other monitor I have for Mauna Loa. Yeah, you can see them all in marked in red at Mauna Loa. The weekend they didn't report hardly next to nothing for the entire island, especially Mauna Loa. The one monitor I have for Mauna Loa, MOKD, is in this location. I'll bring it in for you. And then the other one that I'm using is this one up on the side, ALEP, and then down here is the creator. So I'm using this one right here and this one right here. So as you know, the one's marked in red and this is on the side of Mauna Loa. Um, means that there was an earthquake and it sends a message to the geologist. So I'm just going to jump around. They are coming in and now reporting the earthquakes that did occur over the weekend that weren't posted earlier. But this one right here at 2321 comes in as a 2.99, possibly close to a 2.3. And there's its signature as it came in at Mauna Loa. HVO is claiming that it was a magnitude 2.5. The next largest one that shows up here would be here at 829. Supposedly happened at Pahala. 
and there's its signature. HBO says it was a magnitude 2.4, but that comes in as a 2.76. Uh, the next largest one I see would probably be that one right there. Again, this is how it came in on the side, the wall of Mauna Loa. There, I made it a little bit bigger. And that comes in as a 2.88. We'll look at the spectrogram again. HVO claims it came in there at Kilauea as a 2.1. There's its signature at OBL, which would be Kilauea. Um, yeah, and look at the heat that came up with that earthquake. And I get about the same. Here it says 2.87, so I'm pretty close to what it came in there at Mauna Loa. Um, but here at Kilauea, you can see the gases that came up. Yeah, it was not a magnitude. 2.1, it was actually a 2.8. See, this one here, they're saying it occurred at Pahala, but I really doubt if they got the location right, because look at the magma that came up there at Kilauea. They're claiming that was a 2.5. See, if you look at the signature, how sharp and clear it is here at Kilauea. And that actually comes in as a 3.08. Boy, are they wrong on that one. That one occurred yesterday, universal time. 23, 21, and oh, maybe 22 seconds, maybe. We got 40 se or uh, 42 seconds, because we got 40 and 45 here. Got another signature here where it went quiet. It got so loud it went quiet. Let's look at the signature. See that? It didn't record. Yeah, that was uh, 59 minutes after midnight universal time. I'm just going to jump around here at Kilauea. Holly Mama. Let's see, okay, uh, 224. That one is not being reported. And there's its signature. It's got a very short P wave on it. That comes in as a 2.40. I don't know how they missed it. Unless because you can see here, we got so much magma coming into the system at Kilauea. Holly Mamu. Um, yeah, I was just moving it along here and that's how I found it. Not being reported. I'm going to move it along so I can see if there's more throughout here. I mean, I can bring it up a little bit. Lots of gases coming up. We got something right there. We'll look at the signature. Yeah, it's hard to see where this stuff is at. It's just... All right, let me go back down. Okay, that's the one I found. We'll go down a little bit farther. And let's see what this one did. Yeah, um, 829. That one too not being reported. That comes in as a magnitude 2.70. I moved it up a little bit so you can see it. We got another little blip here. At 12.11, you can see the popping of the rock there. They're saying that's a 2.1 down by Pahala, which I really doubt. That comes in as a 2.23. I'll pull it down for you so you can see it. So they weren't off too much on that, but I really think they got the location wrong. Now, they're saying this one here did happen there at Kilauea, Halimamu, as a 1.9. But I have a 2.01 at least. And see, they're not reporting any magma, any lava coming into the crater. And this is what it's showing. This is KKO Station, which is here. Let me, let me zoom in. 
over here. Here we got Kilauea. There's KKO. And then up here is um, OBL. And yeah, I really wish I had a, <laughs> a monitor. But anyways, yeah, that's KKO. And this is what it's showing. Let me show you what it was showing when I pulled the files when I start. Oops. When I started my report. Yeah, and they say there's, <laughs> there's no indication. They're looking at the same monitors and look at the line of melt here. See, this, this was developed, this program was developed by USGS. So HBO has the same access to the same data that I have. And I want to come over here where it was really acting up. Or was that above it? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, and just think. Okay. Um, you could have another explosion, eruption, another pyroclastic flow. Mauna Loa, let me go back to Mauna Loa. It's showing the magma that's, that's coming in. And like I said, now this is when I, when I pulled the files. Um, been what, 34 years since its last eruption? And it used to be, if I'm remembering right, what, six months after Kilauea erupts and then Mauna Loa, um, often had activity. It would start erupting. But that was in 2018 and it's Definitely overdue, but it's not, sh it, Kilauea is the one, um, Molly Mamu, sorry for pronouncing it wrong, is the one that's really showing that it's gonna have another eruption. Anyways, that's all I have for you right now. Yeah, and there's a lot of earthquakes that are not being reported. Let's go to OBL. Yeah, look at the line of melt. Remember, OBL is that monitor right there. Okay, and the other one, KKO, OBL, at Kilauea. Yeah. How can they say that nothing has changed? Oops, off the line. I don't know, too busy hanging out over the coffee machine or something, roasting marshmallows over the crater there. I don't know. So, uh, aloha to all my friends and followers there in Hawaii. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.